our temperatures these last few days have just been unreal for Oklahoma late uh, July and <laughs> early August. I mean, we're talking daytime highs, maybe low to mid 80s. It just doesn't happen like that around here. I know these uh, video clips have been kind of a little bit different. They're mostly exterior explorers, probably because the section of town that I'm in, in the town of Chickasha, I'm in what I usually call Old Town. I always name that the same thing uh, in any little town that I'm in because it's usually the original part of town that started before anything else. And then, you know, towns grow. So it looks like Chickasha has kind of grown that way. But at any rate, you can see I'm like industrial. Very, very, very industrial. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. Now, one thing about a lot of these types of parts of town is they're always in the rougher sections. So you have to be prepared for that. And I have said that before. You gotta be watching out for homeless and some of your other criminal elements. So just make sure you're, you know, you know your surroundings. So it looks like I'm fixing to get boxed in here because there's some railroad tracks over there. The train is fixing to go across. And there's railroad tracks right here, which is probably ultimately what caused these businesses to die. Now this one here looks like it was a gas station. It's kind of got that awning. The lights are in the right position. There were obviously other businesses that were right here by it. This was probably, I don't know, some sort of warehouse. It looks like the lock is new. That is a very heavy duty lock. Two of them actually. Well, someone's probably using this for storage. Yeah, looks like a fairly new truck back there. So all this is old Chickasha industrial. Looks like this was sealed up at one point. been kicked in so here we go I think somebody was probably living in it Play for a thermostat. Look at this safe. Wow. Still has the wood drawers. That's unreal. So you would have closed this and probably had your more and more valuables, valuables in there. So there was an inner and an outer door. Check that out. That would have been your inner door. Here was your outers. And man, this whole thing was closed off by a cabinet and you wouldn't even know it was here. So this thing was built in. That is phenomenal. And the way this is tapered, it is thick. Okay, so this looks like the door to a trailer. Holy moly.
maximize trash. I don't think this was living quarters of the people that owned the business, but I'm going to bet it was private quarters. Hope there's not a dog back here. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Okay, there's a fence between me and that property over there. Thank goodness. I used to have one of these old record player. in the camera shake I had to jump down Very cool, guys. Look at the size of these, insane. He's looking the stable. That is a huge tree. That is a huge tree. 
But that thing's at least 100 years old, if not older. I'm gonna make sure to take some exterior photographs of this old station. Like I said, I'm pretty sure at one point somebody was living in here. I always have people ask me, well, what about metal detecting? Have you ever tried metal detecting? Well, the problem with that is most of these places have been vandalized looted coupled with their deteriorating state you'd find so much junk you probably wouldn't even find anything useful i'm going to suspect that this was a gas station and then they turned it into a mostly interstate battery store you can see or maybe it did both pretty neat though this over here is some sort of buildings affiliated with the railroad this one over here has been completely gutted. Probably from a fire, it looks like. Here's a car coming, so I'm not sure how much poking around I'm gonna do. I'm pretty sure all this falls under the railroad guidelines. We'll check it out, I guess. Not much to it really it's probably why this one's called annex number one so i'm gonna bet this one's called annex number two these kind of look like the uh when they were renovating my elementary school way back when you know this is those temporary buildings they would bring so that the kids could use the have a classroom it's exactly what it looks like Just one room, nothing special. Crazy. Very uh, clinical. Or commercialized, pick your, pick your word. Doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm gonna take this road on around after I take some photographs and we'll see what else we can find. But I'm pretty sure I'm the original section of Chickasha where it first started growing. <laughs> 